Hey guys, welcome to 10 Things Thursday, a show where I look at 10 things, regardless if it's for a 3D printer or a laser cutter or a CNC machine or any garage manufacturing things you can make. Today, we're gonna be talking about automotive laser parts. And the first thing that I wanna talk about is something that's dear to my heart and it's storage. So if you want to store something in your car, you can laser cut a grid system for your car and these sell up for a hundred dollars you can put them on the side of a truck or the back of a jeep swinging door so these are made out of 3 16 inch material and you can clip all types of things to it even tools to whatever you need the next thing is custom vehicle grills I recently installed a grill on my Toyota Tacoma and I paid a good amount of money for that grill. Custom grills are really a huge market because most cars have a front grill and you can customize that. The next thing is a huge market is vanity license plates, the license plates that go on the front of cars. Sometimes people just put them inside of their man cave or bar. The next thing is receiver hitches. What do you do with your receiver hole when you're not being used so you can make a custom logo for that sports team or whatnot? The next thing is custom rocker switches that go inside of cars for lights. You can basically paint the switch black and then etch away it and reveal the white and they actually will shine through with an LED light. One thing that doesn't seem related, but everyone has key fobs and those key fobs need key chains. You can do uh, something simple like this, or you can do the front of a grill or potentially the silhouette of a vehicle. So that market is unlimited and whatever you can think of, you can make a keychain for. So that's definitely automotive. The next thing is dashboards. I recently, for my electric car project, made my own custom acrylic dashboard. You can laser cut these instrumentation panels and make them look really classic and very, very cool, much cooler than they did were before. The next thing that is really, really a super important one because the market is huge is car decals. Decals that go on the back. Now with laser cutting, it's probably best if you did one color. So once you laser cut it, you wanna reverse it and then put it on transfer film. But you can put these on the back of your car. You can put them on your windshield and advertise and stuff like that. That market is huge. You can also use a vector cutter, but I'm using a laser. The next thing is, believe it or not, when you're sitting at work and you're sitting at home right now, a lot of people are, you're going to want to have your car next to you if you're a huge fan. And one of the things you can do is laser cut scale models. My favorite scale is 124th. I have a lot of cars like this little DeLorean that I use, but I've also laser cutted vehicles. And now one of the things that's kind of fun is business cards that are automotive related. Business cards are something if you're a mechanic or you restore something, here's a cool gasket card. And the big thing that I waited for the very end, and this is actually 11 things that business card was a bonus, is gaskets. Gaskets are a huge market where you can do tons of different things. You order something on eBay that's rare, you do the dimensions, and then you sell those gaskets. Whether or not they're rubber and things like that, make sure that you don't cut polyvinyl chloride. But in terms of anything else, if they're fiber material, whatever else, as long as you're exhausted, use that at your own risk. But that is a huge market. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching 10 Things Thursday. Watch out for this next time where we're going to talk about 3D printing again. So that's it, guys. Whatever you do, make something that connects someone. Love you. Take care.